Okay, so last week we went over chapter 18. This week we're going to go over those problems that I mentioned last week. And then if we have time, then we'll go into chapter 19 talk about it. So chapter 18, we'll do a quick recap. Starting on page 734. The purpose of managerial accounting, and what did you say the purpose was? What was it? information to do what with decision maker. Yeah, decision maker. That's one of them for accounting, period. But more specifically managerial is so that they can do what? From day to day. What are they doing from day to day? Budgeting. Budgeting? Planning? Yes. Controlling? Yes. It's in the book. Okay, so um, what are the classifications, cost classifications? If we classify by behavior, we're looking for what? Fixed, mixed cost, and variable cost, right? If we're classifying by traceability, what are we looking for? Direct costs or indirect costs, if we uh, classify by control, controllability, we want to know if we can do what? We want to know what costs we can reasonably control or what? What's the opposite of control? Incontrollable or uncontrollable. Classification by relevance means that we're looking for what? What's, what part is sunk cost? Out of pocket cost or opportunity cost. And if we are classifying by function, we are concerned with what? Okay, so what are the three costs that we're looking for in managerial accounting. Or not necessarily three costs, but three processes. What are the processes? Raw material, more direct materials, goods and process, and finished goods, right? So I told you to do quick study dash seven, right? And we were going to talk about it today. Quick study eighteen dash seven on page seven sixty, no seven sixty one. It says compute the cost of goods sold for twenty thirteen using the following information. So they give you all of this information. It looks like finished goods for 2012 and 2013, goods in process for 2012 and 2013, and cost of good manufactured for 2013. So if we're going to find out the cost of goods sold, first of all, what is included in cost of goods sold? What do you start with? Finished finish finish goods from the previous year or beginning? Finished goods, right? Yeah, December 31st of 2013. Yeah, December 31st of 2013. And then what else do you include? Cost of goods manufactured. Cost of goods manufactured, what you do have, and that's going to give you your cost of goods available for sale. And then you're going to subtract out what? So, finished goods. What was that? 2012? Hold on one second. I'm sorry. Uh, what was that? Quick study 18 7. 
How much was it? Three hundred forty-five. Even. Yeah. What's next? Cost of goods manufactured. How much? And that's going to give us what? The cost of goods. Cost of goods available for sale. What's the amount? Uh huh. What's next? So we're going to subtract finished goods at the end of what? 2013? Yeah. How much? Okay. So that means your cost of goods sold is how much? 980. 980. Okay. Quick study 18 8. A company has year and cost of goods made factor 4,000, beginning finished goods inventory of 500, and any finished goods inventory of 750. Cost of goods sold is. That just goes back to this, right? Yeah. I think Finish goods is how much beginning? Well, hold on, hold on. What was the finished goods uh, beginning? Five thousand. Cost of goods manufactured. Five, five so that means cost of goods available for sale. Nine thousand finished goods. Ending. How much was it? It's five hundred. Okay, if I get these numbers right, take a lot to erase up here. I would say, I said what? Five thousand. Forty-five hundred. Yeah. Finish goods. Finish goods. Seven fifty. The cost of which is two thousand seven hundred. Okay. All right. All right. Study 18-12. Nestle reports beginning raw materials inventory of 3,243 and ending raw materials inventory of 3,904. Both numbers in millions of Swiss francs. If Nestle purchased 16,200 in millions of Swiss francs of raw materials during the year, what is the amount of raw materials it used during the year? How do you find out raw materials used? Beginning inventory. Beginning raw materials inventory. Oh. How much was it? Everybody needs to speak. What what um what do we need what do we need to add? Sixteen thousand two hundred. 
16,200, which equals what? 19.14. What do we call this? What's next? Which is how much? Four. Okay. Fifteen thousand. What is this considered? we're dealing with and the first thing they want us to do is what Garcia Which are what? Beginning raw materials. Plus what? Plus raw materials. Plus raw materials. Plus materials. Plus raw materials. Plus um less what woman? Less in the material inventory. Okay. <laughs> Equals raw material use. All right, for Garcia, what was the beginning raw material? Cold pepper. Nine thousand. Raw materials purchased for Garcia. Thirty-three thousand. Cold pepper. Fifty-two thousand. Raw materials available. Sixty one. Sixty one. Okay. All right. Uh, less ending raw materials for Garcia. Uh, five thousand five hundred. Three hundred. Call pepper. Seven thousand two hundred. Raw materials used for Garcia. Thirty four thousand nine hundred. Call pepper. Okay, good. 
What's next after this? Direct labor. Um. What goes under direct labor? How much was direct labor for Garcia? Call Pepper. Let me just say this. Um, who has the schedule with them the schedule for the class? What's the date for Chapter uh, 19 in homework? It would be on the, on the, it's tonight, tonight. June 9th. The date the Chapter 18. The date is for Chapter 18. Wait a minute, homework if you want to know? No, for, yeah, for 19. Because if that, if that weather gets really, really bad, I will stop. I'm not one for you know, that part I don't care about. Lightning and stuff like that, can't do it. So, we're going to get through this, obviously. But if we don't get through the entire 19, that's why, because I, I, I would have to stop. All right, proceed. Derek Labor. Um... What's next after this? Uh, factory, factory overhead. And what's included in factory overhead? Factory supply and direct labor. You got rent. What else? Rent. What else? Factory utility. Supplies. I have a question. Do I have to enter a general and administrative exam? You asking me or you telling me? No, I'm not telling you. I'm asking you. Why are you asking me? Because I'm confused. Why are you asking me? Think about it. What's included in administrative? In general? Salary, everything. Oh, people who did what? Uh, Over time? No, the ones that Yes. Right. So it goes under factory overhead, right? I guess. So now, okay. Utilities, supplies, and what's next? Uh, indirect labor. Indirect labor. Repairs. Repairs. Anything else? That's all of it. Okay. Uh, what was rent for um, these people? What was rent for uh, Garcia? What was the what the Okay. Utilities for Garcia? Nine thousand. Nine thousand. Okay. Supply. No, three thousand. Both. What? What is it? Three thousand two hundred. Indirect labor. Repairs. Total factory overhead. For uh, Garcia, this twenty seven thousand on down. And Cole Pepper. 
Not yet, anyway. What was the um, ma raw materials used? Is that what I'm looking for? What was that amount? Bless you. What was that bottom? Direct labor, nineteen thousand, thirty-five thousand, and what was overhead?
beginning beginning what? Beginning good in process and continue. Beginning good in process. How much for Garcia? Fourteen thousand ten. Okay. Cold pepper. Nineteen nine fifteen. Okay. What's next? Your total cost. So the cost of goods process. How much for Garcia? How much? It's more than just Malene in here. Y'all can add 104,181,450. How much for cold pepper? What's next? The ending minus ending processing in There's more than Malina here, though. What's what's next? Everybody else. After we've got the total cost of goods in process, what else do we need to do at this point to get cost of goods manufactured? My ending what? How much is it for Garcia? Cold pepper. Cost of good manufacturer for Garcia. $96,680. What about cold pepper? entire time, right? Or entire class period, rather. Cost of goods sold requires us to take beginning what? Beginning finish good and finish your research. Uh-huh. Plus what? Plus the cost of goods Oh, for the cost of goods manufactured. Plus cost of goods manufactured, which should give us cost of goods available to sell. Uh huh. What was the um yeah Garcia Paul Pepper? How much for uh beginning finish goods? Paul Pepper. No. Call. That's why. That's why. Cost of good manufacturer? Nineteen six eighty. Cold pepper. One one thirty nine eight sixty. Is it nineteen or ninety six? Ninety six. 
Cost of goods available for sale for Garcia? 108. 180. 180. 180. Salt pepper? 156. 310. 310. Any finished goods inventory for Garcia? Yeah, 17. shows how cost flow for a business and a product is made back. Some boxes in the flow chart show cost amounts. Compute the cost amounts for the boxes that contain uh, question marks. are missing. Beginning raw material inventory, raw material available for use, ending raw materials, and then direct materials used in production. All right, so the amount that they gave you for raw materials purchases is how much? Uh huh. Even? Yeah. Beginning raw materials inventory? 145,500. What numbers did you say you were missing? Uh, the, 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 the one in the middle. Here? Yes. Okay. And then what's the ending raw? I mean, yeah, ending raw material. All right. So how do we find raw material materials available for use? Beginning. And Plus purchases. What's the amount? First of all, what's the amount that you get beginning raw materials plus purchases? 
No, 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 no. And if we did these in a straight line like you've been doing it, that's the way to go, is it not? That's what I'm saying. Is, is that... This plus this equals this. Six, seven, seven, what? Now, what else do you need? What else is missing? Um, the direct materials used. The direct materials used in production. How do you get there? Raw material inventory. This is now we can do raw material inventory plus raw material That's too complicated. Too complicated. <laughs> this here, <laughs> subtract. What's the amount? All right. What's next? Uh, production activity. And let me just walk you through this a bit. Because really, it all ends up still being the same process over and over again. They got direct labor used in production, 350, right? And they got beginning goods in process inventory, 84,500. What you're trying to find is total goods in process. What numbers are included? What are the numbers included? Are the numbers included? What's included in, in total goods and profits? The beginning is oh, direct material use plus direct labor plus uh -huh. factory overhead plus good in process 2000, I mean 2012, whatever. So in other words, 500 to 2500, which is what we figured out up there, right? Direct labor was 350,000. Um, beginning goods and process inventory 84,500. In fact, we over here 750,000. What's the amount? With those four items add. Why didn't you have that calculator out already? I have one. Um, These three added together gave you what? What else is missing? You also are missing any goods in process. How are you going to find any goods in process? Uh -huh. Minus cost of food manufacturing. 
your homework, am I right? So what did you do for your homework? How do you get any goods and process inventory? You got what material you use? Uh-huh. Divided by day sale in what material inventory multiplied by two. Uh no simple than that. Uh, if, if you subtract the total goods and practice, that would be I feel like y'all asked me, we really should be telling me because it's a part of your homework, which means that you have to do it, which means that you have to pay. So, what is ending goods in process? Inventory.
one million five hundred and ninety three thousand five hundred. How you get one million? One million seven hundred and forty thousand two hundred and fifty. Subtract one million five ninety three five. Don't make me scream today. It is not in me. I have no energy to do that. What is the amount for beginning finished goods inventory? I just told you what to subtract. You subtract finished goods manufactured from finished goods available for sale. What's the amount? One hundred forty-six thousand. What? Seven fifty. So now you're still missing finished goods sold. How do you get finished goods sold? From the finished goods available. What is the amount? Six thousand. Okay. What is it? Six thousand. One hundred and thirty-nine thousand. One hundred thirty-nine hundred. One hundred thirty-nine thousand. Subtracted from one million seven hundred forty thousand two hundred fifty is what? Good. You got what you need, Miss Benfield. As far as those numbers, can we, or maybe I should ask, do we? to continue to do problems with chapter 18. Because it took too. so long to get to something that I gave you answers for. Now is not the time to not know. Now is not the time to not practice. Even if you don't know, you need to call it something. I hate talking to myself. That's like a pet peeve for me. Do you like to talk to yourself? No, because people would think you were crazy, right? If you talk to yourself, you can answer back. I feel like it today. I feel like screaming to the top of my lungs because I'm just asking and I'm asking. And everybody's looking at me like I'm the crazy one. I got a degree already. I took this twice. A long time ago. It wasn't fun then and it ain't fun now. But really teach when you don't respond. This one wasn't wasn't the the the, the I mean the homework we have to went here. This is the homework one, the homework uh, connect. Isn't that important? It's important. Have, yeah, we have to do it. Yeah, but that's I my question. I did my, I get my. Mm -hmm. You did it and you're done? Yes. What are you saying? No, but it's different numbers. That's why I. Oh, yeah, it's going to be different numbers. But that's, that's why we're going through that's it. That's why I'm done. So you know the process. So while I'm asking questions, right? I'm process. the crazy one. That's my process. My process is so long. That's why you say. I did too much work, but you didn't, I'm not saying you did too much work. I was trying to simplify it for everybody because when you start saying divide and then multiply this and then do that, do that, people start looking around like, What happened? Are you crazy? Man? Yes, <laughs> because that's not in the book and blah 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 blah. So we try to break it down as simple as possible. Sometimes, especially with that particular problem, you had been doing it before we even got to that problem, you were just doing it in single line form. No. They put it out in brackets and it's like, oh, there's foreign language. It's not. It's the same stuff you have been doing line by line before we got to this problem. It's difficult. It's difficult because we just spent 20 minutes. Well, it probably wasn't that long, but it was too long on that one part. I mean, that was long. So long to make my head hurt. No, not really. Oh, yeah, really, it hurts. It does. Not my doctor, Yeah, even Dr. Williams wants to throw 
that's unnerving. However, even with that being the case, it looks like that was the only problem they had like that in here. Imagine that.